whenever we give heat energy to a material we come to know that heat is given into it by temperature we touch it and the degree of hotness is more we say it has been heated up now another phenomena takes place there are molecules due to heat they vibrate this much give it more energy they vibrate like this now they need more space for vibration the effect of this is that earlier this was the space and these two were vibrating like this now we have increased the temperature and they need more space and they vibrate like this now their center of vibrations are here earlier the center of vibrations were here now it is here the size has increased this has happened with the combination of all the molecules that when a body is heated when a material is heated its size increase we call it expansion so that is because of the heat it is called thermal expansion so okay so this is very simply thermal expansion in physics we measure everything so thermal expansion is also measured and decided which are the quantities which uh, depends on which the thermal expansion depends so first we categorize thermal expansion into three categories according to its dimension number 1 we heat an object which has got a large length compared to its width and its depth just like a string if this is a thin rod or a string then its length is very large compared to its width and its depth when we heat it it expands in all directions but the width increase and the depth increase is so small that we neither can measure it and we would not like to measure it we just neglect it in that case what we observe and what is significant is increase in the length and when we heat it its length increase by a certain length this is expansion thermal expansion because this thermal expansion is in one line we call it linear expansion linear thermal expansion please do not think that only length is increasing width and depth are not increasing everything is increasing but when we go which can be neglected one width and depth are very small their increase is almost zero so we neglect it this is thermal expansion second is aerial or superficial okay aerial regarding area this is a plate which has got length which has got width but thickness is negligible so when this is heated up the temperature is given to it we find the length has increased the width has increased and we get the new area like this the length has increased the width has increased and therefore the total area has increased and this increase is significant the depth is neglected there is an increase in the depth we neglect it when we are considering this case we say it is aerial or surface superficial thermal expansion in the third case yes you guessed it right it will be volumetric volumetric expansion when length width and depth all three are increasing we have a cube here okay these are the original dimensions after heating this has also increased this has also increased this was the original it has increased and 
this has also increased so we get a larger cube over here this in this length width height all three have increased so this is volumetric all three dimensions expand so this is volumetric expansion and now we will measure each and every one fix up certain quantities for them in the next lecture thank you